today I'm going to make a little cottage uh, out of clay. The first thing I'm going to do is divide my clay into three chunks. So I'm going to set two, two of those aside. The first thing I'm going to do is roll one of them into a, a pretty good sized coil. And I'm going to press that coil flat. I want to keep it relatively thick. This was going to make the walls of my cottage. So I'm going to poke in a couple of holes that will make for nice windows. Now this is going to get rolled into a cylinder. I always like to wet and scratch the edges before I connect them. And it's important to sort of press clay or push clay from one piece onto the other to make sure it's all nice and unified as I go. I'm going to set that aside right now. It's not perfect, but it's a good enough start. I'm going to take this piece of clay and I'm going to make a nice big pinch pot. So I'm going to start by rolling it in a ball. And then I put my thumb in and I'm going to turn and pinch, turn and pinch. I want to make this a wide opening for my pinch pot because this is going to be the roof of my cottage. So it's going to be flipped upside down and put on top of there. Now to get these pieces attached, as usual, I'm going to wet. I'm going to wet this top edge too. I'm going to scratch all along here. And I am going to put that inside of the pinch pot. I want to smooth over those windows, make sure they're nice and rounded. And this one got collapsed a little bit. So I'm going to smooth that over. And I might cut a little hole for a doorway. And again, I don't want to leave it as a rough opening like that. I want to wet my fingers so I can smooth it over a little bit. After that, I start to think about the texture. So I might scratch lines down the walls just to make a little striped pattern adds a little bit of visual interest to it. I might look at the roof. This is where I like to use that extra bit of clay to add some embellishments. So I might roll some thinner little coils like this and add designs like I might wet this scratch it, wet this roof, and I might add things like spirals going all around. I might take a little bit of clay, make a little chimney. The way I do that is just roll a little ball, sort of flatten it on one end, wet it, scratch it, attach it. I don't want it to collapse as I press pieces on, so I want to make sure I've got my hand inside while I'm pressing this piece on here. I can hollow out the chimney a little bit. good. 
I can also take a balled up paper towel and put it inside of my cottage to support it while I'm adding stuff and pressing on the outside. So I, with that balled up paper towel in here, it's less likely to collapse as I press stuff onto the roof. So I can make more patterns and designs. Wetting, scratching, and attaching like this.